You are listening to The Centropic Oracle, an audiobook podcast of science fiction and fantasy short stories that make you think and feel. Wind Robbers by Eric Bundy She smelled the salt sea in his clothes, its odor fresh on his faded jeans and his cashmere crew neck sweater. He had climbed straight from the night ferry up the dusty mountain to where she squatted beside her small fire. Sneering, he scanned the ruined lines of stacked limestone blocks that had once formed the mighty walls of Odysseus's palace. Nice place you've got here. She shoved a cypress stick into her snapping fire. He dressed like a laborer, but his razor-cut hair and manicured fingernails showed he was above muscle work. She wished there was a bit more fat on him. Can you really do it? he asked. Yes, she hissed and glanced at the crescent moon. He hesitated, then pulled a wad of euros from a front jeans pocket and placed the money on a crumbling limestone block near her elbow. Ignoring the payment, she pointed to the rock-strewn ground in front of her. Take off your shirt and sit. She set a terracotta dish with two handles on her tiny fire, waved a black feather over the red wine in it, and chanted a phrase three times. When she stood with the drinking dish in her hands, he looked her up and down, smirking at the ancient linen chitin she wore. Drink, she said. He hesitated, shrugged, then drank gagging slightly on the warm, bitter wine. He fell over on his side in a fetal curl and thrashed in spasms, bone ripped through his back muscles and skin, spraying blood as huge skeletal wings grew, then skinned over and feathered. A few stray black feathers sprouted along his sinewy arms. Once the pain left him, he sat up, awestruck, reached over a shoulder and touched a blood-wet wing. Chuckling, he sucked blood off his fingertips. His eager wings fluttered. She stared at a smear of his blood near his mouth and licked her thin lips. Long ago, she and her sisters had feasted as they desired. Then mighty Zeus saw them mocking a proud eagle, his symbol. As punishment, angry Zeus had decreed that from that time forward they must imitate the eagle and feed only on creatures they caught on the wing. You actually delivered, the man praised. She pointed from their height across the hillside's twisted olive trees, over the sprinkling of village lights far below, over the dark bay. Fly, winged man. Not yet confident enough to throw himself off the outcropping, he beat his wings and lifted his shirtless body off the rocky ground. Laughing, he soared and cavorted under the Grecian stars, then winged away, flying toward Ithaca's other mountain. Above him, two shadows swooped out of the dark. Talons outstretched, one of the shadows thudded into his back. He screamed, his body bent backwards in pain. He cursed the half-woman, half-bird clutching him and struggled, then pleaded, offering money as she carried him away. On the crag, the woman doused her fire with leftover wine. She stepped out of her ankle-length robe and began to shrink. Her legs feathered, her toes thickened into talons, harpy wings swelled on her human back, and she leaned forward to counter their teetering weight. Transformed, she unfurled her wings and threw herself into flight off Odysseus's cliff. She must reach her hungry sisters before they began feasting. It was her turn to have the succulent blue eyes. We hope you enjoyed Wind Robbers by Eric Bundy, read by Emily Serdahl. If you'd like to learn more about the author and narrator of this story, or make a donation to them, follow the story page link in the description. 
If you would like to submit a story for consideration or apply to be a narrator, a link to our submission guidelines is in the description. This story is copyrighted 2020 by the Centropic Oracle.